Whether your check engine light is on or you just want to know more about onboard diagnostics, your OBD2 tool will allow you to quickly and easily troubleshoot today's cars and trucks. Onboard diagnostic systems came into use in the late 1980s as the laws called for tighter vehicle emission standards. Beginning in the early 80s, self-diagnostic programs were used in vehicles to detect faults in the engine control system's sensors, actuators, switches, and wiring. When a fault was detected, the MIL, or check engine light, was illuminated, and a fault code was stored in a vehicle's computer system, or ECU. These codes could be retrieved from the ECU by using a code reader or a scan tool. The problem was that each vehicle manufacturer had its own type of connector and its own method of retrieving diagnostic code information. If you had more than one make of car, you would often have to buy more than one tool to read the diagnostic information. This made working on these cars expensive and confusing. Because of the complexity of these earlier systems, the second generation of onboard diagnostics, called OBD2 for short, was established. It was made universal and mandatory for 1996 and later vehicles. The goal of OBD2 was to make the diagnostic information stored in the vehicle's computer standardized and accessible to everyone who needed it. What this meant is that the OBD2 systems used by every manufacturer have to, by law, test the same systems and components the same way to ensure compliance with that law. It even designated that the connector be standardized as a 16-pin plug among all 1996 and newer cars and trucks, including domestic, Asian, and European. Whether you want to check your car during a normal maintenance service to see if the emission systems are operating properly, or if your check engine light is on and you want to find out why, your OBD2 tool offers the quickest and easiest way to access this valuable information on every 1996 and newer vehicle. So how does your OBD2 tool make onboard diagnostics quick and easy? First, the standardized 16-pin Diagnostic Data Link Connector, or DLC, makes it easy to plug in your tool. This connector is conveniently located inside your vehicle in one of these nine different locations. Second, your tool's single screen display provides everything you need at one time and within 10 seconds. Diagnostic trouble codes or DTCs that commanded the check engine light on. IM monitor status. MIL status. Pending codes. Tool status. If your model has it, code definitions in English, Spanish, or French, and stored freeze frame data. Let's explore what a DTC consists of. Each DTC is made up of five characters. The first letter is a character that identifies the main system where the fault occurred, body, chassis, powertrain, or network. The second character identifies the type of code, generic or manufacturer. On some tools, this is identified with a G for generic or E for manufacturer-specific. The third character identifies the specific system where the problem occurred. And the fourth and fifth characters identify the section of the system that is malfunctioning. In this example, we're showing a generic heated oxygen sensor code. Note that your tool will show you any code, generic or enhanced, that caused the check engine light to turn on. Also, always remember that each code is meant to guide you to the proper service procedure. Never replace parts based only on a DTC definition. The IM monitor status icons on your screen are system readiness tests that continuously check the vehicle's emissions-related components to make sure they're operating correctly. There are up to 11 OBD2 system monitors available. Be aware that different vehicles support a different number of monitors, and your tool will only show one supported by the vehicle being tested. An example is the OH, or HTR icon, which represents the oxygen sensor heater monitor. You may wish to reference the included manual for an explanation of all 11 monitors.
A solid icon indicates that the vehicle's computer has successfully run the test of that monitored function, while a blinking icon indicates that the monitor test is either in progress or that the test has not yet been run by the onboard computer. This feature provides you with another way to determine if the vehicle is ready for an emissions test. In fact, some states require that all supported monitors are at a completed status in order to pass an annual emissions or smog test. The MIL icon on the screen also confirms that the check engine light was commanded on. The pending icon illuminates when one or more diagnostic tests have failed but were not critical enough to turn on the check engine light. An example of a pending code is when an evaporative emissions system test initially detects a leak from a loose gas cap and a pending code is set. If you don't tighten the gas cap, it could eventually trigger the check engine light to come on. The third unique feature on the tool is the green, yellow, and red LEDs that help make it easy to determine the health of the vehicle. In most cases, you'll want to use this quick and easy check to make sure all systems are go during your regular maintenance servicing and to quickly identify if the vehicle is ready for an emissions test. A green LED indicates that all engine systems are okay and operating normally. When the green LED is illuminated, all OBD2 monitors supported by the vehicle have run and there are no diagnostic trouble codes pending or present. This means that you'll likely pass an emissions test. A yellow LED indicates that either a pending code is present or that not all of the OBD2 monitors have completed their diagnostic test sequence. A red LED indicates that there is a problem with one or more of the vehicle systems. The red LED is used to indicate that a trouble code is present and further diagnosis is required, as seen here in the example. In this case, it is highly unlikely that you would pass an emissions test. Other features in the tool that make OBD2 diagnostics easy include an erase button to clear codes, turn off the check engine light, and reset all monitor status tests, and an auto relink program, which automatically requests information from the vehicle every 30 seconds to get the latest information while the vehicle is in operation. This is a great feature as you perform a drive cycle to verify that the repairs were done correctly. As you can see, your OBD2 tool provides you a gateway to understanding and making onboard diagnostics easy. If you'd like more information, visit www.canobd2.com for the latest information on product updates and optional accessories. And if you have a question that you can't find an answer to, contact our ASE Certified Technical Support Group. Product support is available through email at support at canobd2.com or by fax at 714-241-0240 or phone at 1-800-544-4124 or 714-241-6805 between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Thank you for making the right tool selection for quick, easy, and profitable OBD2 diagnosis.